It's been over one year after the index case of the coronavirus has reported in Nigeria. This came a few days before the lockdown across the country. But despite best efforts to contain the spread, the pandemic has played up several other issues, exposing the weakness of the healthcare system. Our health correspondent, Murupuru Asharabeko, reports that less than 2% of the Nigerian population has been sampled. Her report. It is one year since face mask, thorough hand washing, physical distancing and the use of hand sanitizers became part of Nigerian's lifestyle. No one had ever said this until an Italian who arrived to Nigeria on business trip was diagnosed with the coronavirus. The first case was documented on the 27th of February 2020. The news brought panic as it became obvious that the healthcare system would be offered a huge challenge. Nigeria was forced into total lockdown as a measure to stem the rising tide. Governments across all the states had activated various testing facilities. Even the private sector got involved. Laboratories as well as isolation centers were built. According to the presidential tax force team on COVID-19, about 15,000 tests can be conducted per day, a shortfall when compared with a population of about 200 million Nigerians. One year after, only about 1.5 million samples had been collected, less than 2% of the total population. We were not able to test as rapidly as we should have tested. One, three months, four months uh, into the pandemic, yeah. uh, we were testing in Lagos and maybe Abuja. And then uh, after a while, that increased. That may not have been uh, unconnected to the fact that uh, we didn't have enough, uh, we, didn't, we couldn't carry out enough testing. While well-equipped and functioning health systems across the world found it hard to cope with the challenges of COVID-19 pandemic, in Nigeria, it was a setback that depended more on luck and nature rather than scientific principles. The United States of America has lost half a million people. I mean, the greatest power on earth with, with the plethora of uh, medical facilities, ultra-modern treatments, has lost half a million people. Yeah. And in Nigeria, we're still looking at numbers below, below 3,000. Then you would realize that this is not about any health system coping with anything. It was good fortune. Like predicted, November came with a second wave of the virus as a new strain was discovered. The new strain spiked the numbers as of December 27, 2020. The number of cases was about 84,000. Uh, when people discovered palliatives in warehouses and all that, and started looting them and all that, and then the end of protest, uh, yeah. these two incidents actually increased the number of people that tested positive yeah. again uh, at the beginning of the second wave. Then the need for vaccine became very pressing as the world grappled with its development and scientific approval for usage. But with about 4 million doses of AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine already in Nigeria, the system has a new vista of distribution challenge to conquer. One would have expected the, the policymakers and those in government to have everything. A year is enough um, for any serious country to lay solid foundation for mm -hmm. a rejig or a revamp or you know, a restructuring of the healthcare system. Is we have um, the rise of what we call the fact deniers. People who see facts, but deny the, 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 the reality of those facts. And all these things have come together to, 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 to lend strength to a very strong anti-vaccine movement. And I, and I have friends who have sworn to me that mm -hmm. nothing is going to make them uh, receive the vaccine. Although millions of Nigerians believe the worst moment of a coronavirus pandemic is over, the next challenge will be how to quickly stabilize and rebuild a dependable healthcare system. Modupe Oluwa, Shore Mekun, Silverbird News 24.